So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming tonight and welcome to AAW Presents Legacy! One of my partners, Jim Lynham, passed away on Tuesday. Um, I don't know. I mean, if it wasn't for him in his basement telling me, hey, let's buy a wrestling company, we wouldn't be here today. Package pile driver! The has won the title! We got him! Whoa! We got him! Whoa! Josh Alexander's been Samoa Joe! No! Put the mix! Two! She got it! He got it! Oh. Sweet Jesus! Oh. Mighty Loveless is the heritage yeah. champion! Damn it, kill it! I've just seen a ghost! I put my beard out, I mean business. That look in his eyes, a trophy in his hand. We're kicking ass, we're taking names. But this is a different one called Natives. Guys, 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 this is gonna be messing with me. If you guys win this. Adding insult to injury. Chico Suave has no choice but to tap out. Robert Anthony won the match. Let go of the hole. The match is over! You've proven everything that you can prove! He's in the ring, there's a masked man! From the back! What? 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 The Gunslinger! The Gunslinger is back! over a year! Gunslinger is back! And Davey Vega just saw a goddamn ghost! Fall 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Highland Park, Texas, 237 pounds, he's the greatest pound-for-pound -pound performer in the world today, Mr. Primetime, Anthony Katina. Wrestling fans! Anthony Katina being accompanied to the ring by Kalis Malia and Koa Laksamana. For 20 years, 
The standard of independent professional wrestling has been synonymous with three letters, and those letters are A-A-W. My name is Tyler Bowles, and joining me on the call tonight, the best wrestler slash commentator in the game today, yours rudely, Trevor Outlaw. It's a pleasure to be here. Tyler, I still have chills from that opening video package, summarizing. How can you summarize 20 years in just two minutes? And I'll tell you. Which, by the way, you can go back and relive that night on our YouTube channel. For go free? to the search bar, type in AAW Windy City Classic. Faux free. Faux free. But on the other end of that ring, as equally impressive of an athlete, Anthony Katina, Mr. Primetime himself. I can't think of two guys better to start the show off than these two in here. Cutting their teeth on a live to making it becoming mainstays on the main shows. Every month these two are showing up and showing out. It's only a matter of time before they cross paths here. Oh, sunset flip. Isaiah Moore looking to make quick work of Anthony Katina. Only gets a count of one. Backslide shades at Texas Stadium. Two count only. Katina able to get back up to his feet. Counters that sling blade, but Isaiah Moore able to get an arm drag out of it. That's the maturation process right there, Trevor Outlaw. You know, three months ago, six months ago, a year ago in his career, you wouldn't have seen that out of Isaiah Moore. Koa thinking better of it, saying, you know what? I'm gonna pick my time. I'm not gonna get involved yet. Oh, innovative sunset flip there by Bro. Katina. Oh! But Isaiah Moore rolls through, holds onto the wrist, pulls him up with a clothesline. I was yeah. rip reversal. Isaiah Moore up and over on his feet, and a drop kick sends Katina to the outside. Some of the most impressive footwork I see on the Indies today. That's without a doubt. What is Koa doing in here? Oh, and I think Koa. Oh! Koa's telling him he doesn't need to be a highlight reel. He's, he's here to help. Koa paying the distraction. And Katina taking charge now. Hot shots him, drapes him over that top rope. Anthony Katina, this is an athlete that took the swag champ himself, Ren Jones, to the limit. Every single time Katina gets into that ring, he gets better and better. He matures more and more. Without a doubt. Think about how much things have turned around for him since him and Koa have lined themselves together. It's an uh, interesting partnership, to say the least. But hey, at the end of the day, if the end result is wins and not losses, that's all that matters. Beautiful axe plex from Primetime. And an elbow drop from Mr. Primetime as he goes for the cover now. Isaiah Moore kicks out with authority. Got legacy, 20 years, 20 years of AAW, yeah. Trevor Alla. I personally still remember sitting in the front row here, watching men like Kevin Steen win the AAW championship. You know, seeing wars with men, Merrick Brave, Tyler Black, the legendary Dan Lawrence, the list goes on and on. Some of the best AAW has ever seen, some of the best wrestling as a whole has ever seen. I remember coming to a show where Penta and Chris Hero broke the top rope before the match even started and proceeded to still have one of the best matches I've ever seen in my life live. Snapmare takeover now by Katina. Interesting that you uh, you notate Chris Hero why Anthony Katina's in the ring. This is somebody Anthony Katina has been on the record saying, I want to emulate Chris Hero. I want to be as sound of a technician as Chris Hero was. Big shoes to fill. Sends him into the ropes. Katina now pops him up. Whoa! Counter by Isaiah Moore. Code Red only gets a two. And a super kick How's rattles that for a him. Highlight? Two times now. Prime time sent to the floor in the human highlight. Sizing his opponent up. Hits the ropes. Full steam ahead. Oh. Up and over the top rope in a single bound. Hang time on to prime time. Fans watching at home on High Spots TV, we urge you, use the hashtag AAW20. Tell us what you think of the action. Talk about your favorite AAW moments. Talk about Isaiah Moore. Getting countered there by Anthony Katina. Only able to get the town of two. Katina! Oh. Backbreaker into an ace crusher. Beautiful, beautiful maneuver, but only gets the count of two. These guys are really pulling out all the stops tonight. There's a lot on the line, though. The opening contest of 20 years of AAW. 
You don't want to be the athlete to lose this match, no. but you want to stand out. You want to show out. You want to make a lasting impression, an everlasting impression here in AAW. Katina now grape finding the legs. Might be looking for an Indian deathlock. Oh, firing some shots from the, the mount. Technique, though. Isaiah's fighting back, though. Katina trying a, a new trick, but Isaiah Moore had it scouted. It will evade all of those strikes and meets him with a knee. Kicks him right in the face. Katina rattled into the buckles. Isaiah Moore charges in. Shoulder thrust to the sternum. Gamangiri catches him right on the jaw. Rolls through the middle. Rolls through. Ooh, big code breaker. Into the code breaker. And now Isaiah Moore back up to his feet. Making it look easy. Oh, and Khalees Malia on the outside. Providing the distraction, stopping Isaiah Moore from heading up to that high rent district. Oh, oh, Katina was looking for that step up elbow, but Isaiah had it scouted, able to get out of the way at the last second. Up and over. Oh, Katina catches him. Up and over, but eats a European uppercut from Anthony Katina. Hits it out of nowhere. Talk about ring IQ. That's really knowing where you're at and knowing where your opponent's at is one of the biggest pieces of this chess game that we call professional wrestling. What the hell does Primetime have in mind here? Tornado DDT! Ooh, under the apron! Under the apron, spikes his opponent! Oh God, I've never seen that one before. Isaiah, Isaiah Moore is be in a out. bad way. I, he's seeing stars, I think I'm seeing them too. I'm seeing two of them being born right in front of yeah. our very eyes, Trevor Outlaw. Slam dunk. Katina not able to capitalize a split second away from defeating Isaiah Moore, but took too much time on the outside. He's got to be fighting on instinct right now. Looking for another DDT. This is it. Gets sent into the buckle. Gets the boot up, stops him dead in his tracks. Oh, Spanish fly! Isaiah Moore with a Spanish fly off Katina. the second. Innovative brain buster puts him down. Two. Three, that's gonna do it. Isaiah Moore, a statement victory here tonight to kick off Legacy. Way to start off hot. Six minutes, 49 seconds. Your winner, human highlight, Isaiah Moore. Isaiah Moore kicking off Legacy with a huge victory. I'm here with two very menacing figures. They proclaim themselves to be the badass, yes. but they are also the AAW Tag Team Champions. Say it again. The AAW Tag Team oh, Champions. Oh, God damn it. I love Shaft and Russ Street. Jones. Tough challenge Street. tonight. Hustle in the muscle. Rohit Raju. Hustle in the muscle. Hustle in the muscle. You got motherfucking muscle right here. What are you trying to talk about? What are you trying to talk about? You're talking about the baddest tag champs in not one, not five, not 10, 20 years of AAW. The baddest motherfuckers are here and we got that motherfucking gold. Candlelight Vigil right here with the chandelier at Berwyn for you boys. We're coming. Rohit, calm. It ain't no question. You're in for the hell of a ride tonight, kids. And guess what? It's gonna get fucking messy. Yeah. It's gonna get messy. Blood is on your hands. No, blood is on your face. Blood is on your body. Because when we come to AAW, there ain't nothing what we bring but ass kicking and violence. Yeah! So we have Solomon Tupu and HBJ, Sean Logan. Oh, geez. This is gonna be a big one, guys. Sizing one another up. Fans again watching on high spots. Use the hashtag oh, AAW20 to talk about the dastardly maneuvers of Sean Logan. I don't know how you're going to say Sean Logan's dastardly. The guy doesn't even swear. He's wasting no time assaulting Solomon Tupu in the corner. Take it off! Oh, the body guy. HBJ showing it off. Showing off all that hard work he's been putting in Sabotage's gym. 
Oh, oh, Uncle T with a clothesline with the fur coat. And he eats a clothesline for his troubles. Not gonna discredit him. The man's putting up new personal bests every single time he steps into the gym. I think I saw him deadlift over 500 pounds. Yeah. Oh my God, Uncle T. Yeah, and he just ate a 500 pound Uranagi from Uncle what? T. And Solomon Tupac makes quick work of Sean Logan. Uncle T In get paid 40 hour, seconds, baby. your winner, Uncle T, Solomon Tupu. A 40 oh, second geez. victory. AAW, 20 years, we're here with two of the top modern stars in all of AAW. Two men that now suddenly have very similar interests and very similar foes. Matt Fitchett, the swag champ, Red himself. Jones. Himself, Ren Jones, excuse me. But my man's fired up right now. Fired up? Fired up? Uh -huh. Fired up? I'm uh -huh. pissed off. What do you mean, fired up? <sighs> Put your hand on my chest. Feel that heart. Feel that adrenaline I got going right now. I don't want no problems. Talk your shit, cuz. I'm gonna tell you who's got problems. I'm gonna tell you who's got problems. Hardenbauer, you got problems. Bravo, you got problems. Vega, you got problems. You got a lot of problems, Vega. I know about all of them. And you want to put roadblocks up in front of me? And this, this is the first step that I have to take? Well, line them up. I'm going to knock them down. One by one. Hardenbauer. Yeah. Wait, what's that other guy? Logan. Yeah. Wait, Sean Logan. Dressed like a Sunday school teacher. That's right. Uh-huh. Vega. Bravo. Whoever. Put them in, my, in front of me. I'm going to knock your ass out. I'm so hyped up right now. I just can't. I can't. You got to just relax. And just, just cool it. Chill it. Save it for the match. Okay? Because I'm a swag guy. I'm going to do my thing. But whoever you coming after, brother, I'm with you tonight. All right? We together tonight. So you take your all that that way. That way. To ever set foot in an AAW ring. And that's a, a laundry list a mile long of wrestlers. Yeah. Russ and Shep just oozing intensity. Shaft unfazed. Fans here in the Berwyn Eagles Club. Not fans of Detroit, I can't say that I blame them. I'm fans of the hustle and muscle, but I got to agree, Detroit, not one of the best places out there. And the bell has been rang. We are underway. AAW Tag Team titles on the what? line. And Rohit Raju gets taken off of his feet. Charges in. Now Karam looking to lay some heavy, heavy lumber on Shaft. Shaft, though, with a, a heavy shot himself. Spilling out to the Record outside time. already. Record time. This match is already broken down. Yeah. Do you expect anything less? When these four get into the ring together, it's, well, on the outside of the ring together, rather, it's gonna be a car crash. <laughs> but these oh. are the things, this is what AAW was about. Just beating the piss out of each other, just pure fighting for the sake of money and championships. A jam-packed Berwyn Eagles Club. Fans, you know, they're... Jammed into this venue here tonight to celebrate 20 years. Packed in here like you. sardines. It's an oven in here, brother. I'll tell you what, though. People wore deodorant. They wore their best deodorant for today. It doesn't smell as bad in here as I would have expected for this many people in here. And a clubbering shot to the back by Russ Jones. Russ now going to hit the ropes. Drop down now by Rohit Raju. Up and over goes Raju, former TNA X Division champion. Multiple, multiple time, too, at that. Tilt a whirl, head scissors. He's impressed by himself. As he should be. When you look like that, when you wrestle like that, you should be impressed with yourself. <laughs> but Rush Jones not impressed. Sends him into the corner. If I'm Rohi Raju, I'm doing a tape study on myself. One of the best out there. Some of the best footwork you'll see. Oh my god, the strength. Launched all the way across the ring. Courtesy of Russ Jones. It's not somebody you want to piss off, though. I'll tell you that much. And now Russ grabbing the wrist, hoists him up. Oh, just death lifts him into the corner. That tag been made. In comes the baddest M effort in the game. 
Jeff stopping Josh. a mud hole in Rohit Raju. I don't even think you can count how many boots you just laid to Rohit, but he laid them in there, all right. Josh Jones now. Rohit's not gonna have a chest after this. The tag team champions absolutely wrestling their match right now. Frequent tags being made. Great in-ring IQ, the baddest mf -er. Isolate your opponent, keep him in your corner. You have firm control. But all it takes God. is that one moment, that one opportunity for Ohi to outsmart these men. And the tides will turn in this match greatly. I don't think I've ever seen Shaft this fired up before. I've seen him pretty fired up, but I've never seen him. Yeah, I think you're right, Tyler. Oh, and a sign of respect between Rush Jones and his opponent. Oh my. Crouch and Nelson lift, scoop, and a slam. One-handed body slam. Never in a million years would I think that I said Rush Jones with a body slam. Yeah, right? Head first they into know, the top turnbuckle. They goes know Rohit Raju. They know how to do wrestling moves, but here's the thing. When you got fists like that and you can just beat the piss out of each other, why bother? God, I wish you were in there with them. You know what? It's, it's moments and days like these where I enjoy sitting behind the booth on commentary. <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to want to get in the ring with those two. Listen, you know, there's a reason why I don't send these two Christmas cards anymore. You know, I would consider letting you pay off your debt by taking them two on in a handicap match. I don't want to wear it or something, but. Oh, jawbreaker from Rohit Raju. That's exactly what he needs to do. Like I said, that one moment of opportunity can really shift the tide here. There's one thing that he's better at than anybody on the roster. It's picking and choosing his battles, picking his moments, but he gets lifted over that top rope, holds on. Russ able to get the boot up. And a back elbow to Rohit. Holding on to that foot with your life. Oh, oh, and Carm sends him into the ropes and turns him inside out with a clothesline. Have you ever seen Rush Jones tossed like that? Uh, never. With absolute ease. Carm's underrated, man. I'll say he's one of the best heavyweights out there, pound for pound. What's been awesome to see, too, is the maturation process of his entire career. Yeah. This is a guy that came to AAW a handful of matches into his career. Really developed himself here. Oh, and now Rohit stomping a mud hole in Rush Jones. Rohit shines like the sun because his mother calls him son. Smart strategy, trying to knock Shaft down. Oh! Hustle and muscles in firm control here. Beautiful! Sidewalk slam by Karam. We may be a split second away from new AAW Tag Champs. A free chiropractic adjustment right there. It's not one I would want. I tried, he was a little too far away. You'd be surprised, as painful as it is, sometimes it really just releases everything in you. Payback from earlier. Rush and Shaft isolating Rohit in their corner to now, like I said, the tables have really turned over here. Oh, and Rohit grabbing a front face lock. In firm control. Breaking this match down into a wrestling contest. If I'm Rohit, I'm holding on to this hold as long as I can. Yeah. I'm taking all of the I'm, I'm making Rush Jones use all of the energy he has in his body to break this hole. The common thing that you see here in amateur wrestling when guys are jockeying from position. Whoa! Bro, he's still on his feet, though. Oh, and a round a kick feet. catches him on the jaw. Rohit stuns him in the cover. That was close. That was like 2.75. Oh, and now Rohit standing on the heel, makes the tag, Karam the legal man. And that's what, going back to what you're talking about, one of the smartest men in wrestling right there. Keep that positioning to get your partner in there.
Karm choking the life out of Rush Jones. Karam soaking in the adulation or lack thereof. I, for one, am so happy that these two are back. Yeah, right now, if there's one person that isn't happy they're back, it's Rush Jones. He's been on the opposite end of an ass kicking contest, something I don't think we've ever seen. No, I was going to say, it's something that you don't see often. I don't think in AAW it's something we've seen ever. Oh, and Karam might be picking the wrong battle to fight. Might be firing up somebody he doesn't want to fire up. Yeah, once you get to, once you get into Rush Jones' reserve tank and you get him fired back up, oh, you're in trouble. What brain cells he has left, he uses them to fire up those instincts. Jesus. God, these two bulls meeting each other at the pass. Neat chance coming from the crowd. Oh. oh! I know there were so many Sean Stasiak fans yeah. in, the, in the venue. The meat has fallen. Both men down, both champions and challengers. In a precarious way, a senior official Dan Perch using that referee's discretion. Counts at six. We're seeing some movement out of Karm, not so much out of Rush Jones. Got a far away look in his eye. Kara makes the tag. Rohit Raju, oh. the legal man. And Rush now Shaft. Jones makes the tag as well. Shaft, Shaft back in now. Everybody taking out. everybody out. Close line to the corner. Cornered opponent. And a senton splashing on the Karam. Rush Jones is back on his feet. Sending Shaft into Rohit. Oh, and a pretty oh! hate machine! The tag champs hit the pretty hate machine! Karam saving the match. But Karam diving in the absolute last second. Oh, and a Saito suplex. Courtesy of Rush Jones. Russell Chaff looking to finish things. Uh oh. Bullish hammer Rohit's to the back. Follow right now. Rush Jones heading up top. Certain doomsday. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Impending for the hustle oh. and the muscle. Hustle and muscle. Hoists him onto the shoulders. The hell they got in mind here? Double oh. stop flatliner combination. We're looking at new tag team champs. No. Oh, so close. Oh. Rohit Raju can't believe it. He thought we had new tag champs signed, sealed, and delivered. That was a 2.999. Shaft now firing back. Lane's potatoes. Throwing everything he has in his body into these strikes. Back to where we started just beating the ever-living hell out of each other. This is broken down into an absolute brawl. But then again, what, Shaft, started. And, what Shaft and Rush Jones match right. doesn't. Oh! A Rohit with the throat chop. Thought I saw a helicopter land on the roof earlier. Eldro, he got in mind here. It's a bicycle kick. He was wrapping the belt around his hand. And now Rush Jones calling his shot, signaling for the end. Wait a minute. Rohit from behind. Oh! Genius. Oh my God. The ever cerebral Rohit Raju using that belt, hog tying Rush Jones. Referee Perch doesn't see it. And even if he did, there's nothing he can do about it. Nope. No count outs on his qualifications. What he's doing isn't technically illegal either. And what, what Karam's doing is he's taking just enough of an ass whooping to keep the action going. Talking. And now it's a handicap match. Yep. It's two on one and it's a huge right hand followed with a, a penalty kick goes low. Jumping, Jumping knee strike. 
Could it be? Sky High Spinebuster! Karam with the cover! Two champs! And we have new tag champions! New, new tag champ. team champions! New champs! New champs! Hustle and the Muscle, their first night back win the tag team gold! New champs! An absolute In heist. 12 minutes, 6 seconds, your winners and new AAW Tag Team Champions, Hustle and Muscle, Karam and Rohit Raju. An absolute heist being pulled off here tonight. Their first night back in the company in what, two and a half years? Rohit Raju and Karam, the Hustle and the Muscle. It's turning into a soap opera with the Bravo crew because coming up very soon, Big Beef's contract of servitude with them could be done. Gentlemen, this is this is near the end for Beef with the Bravo team, right? Yeah, listen, okay, guys, we're Bravo-less tonight, and that's okay. I'm gonna make the shots tonight. Playmaker Vega in control tonight, now Beef. I do have some instructions for you from Bravo. Tonight in that four-way, we don't give a shit about Hollister. We don't give a shit about Avalon. You take Mike Bennett out, and then somehow, some way, you take yourself out. Doesn't matter who comes out of that match as long as Bennett is down on the ground and you're not coming out. Does that, are we clear? And then, once you've done that, the next two weeks, smooth sailing, my man. All the I's will be dotted, all the T's will be crossed. We'll go our way, you can go your way. Cool? That's what I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing here in Berwyn? As you can see, so many famous names over the years on the banner. 20 years of AAW made possible by all of you. And of course, all of you watching at home, use the hashtag AAW20. Someone who's been here since the beginning, a special guest joining us tonight. You've seen him here before. Get loud and welcome back home here in AAW, the Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Once again, doesn't this feel great? Jimmy Jacobs back here at AAW. Make yes, it, it does. Jimmy, so many memories here in this room, right here throughout the years, and obviously you've gone on to make some more outside of here, but well, how do you feel? 20 years, AEW, a legacy you're certainly a part of. How do you feel? Time goes by, man. 20 years, 20 freaking years. It was 19 years ago that I dumped the IW Mid-South World Heavyweight Championship in the garbage right here. Sorry, Ian. But we made memories. God, those were the days. It's been four years since I've even been in AAW ring. So when I heard that it was going to be the 20th anniversary of the show, Mike Pekovich, he asked me to, hey, can you send in a video? I go, how about I just show up instead? This week was my 40th birthday. 40! And I've got a little more, a little more gray in my beard. I'm not as spry as I was back when I was exchanging blood with Jerry Lynn, brawling around this building with Ryan Boz, teaming with that kid Tyler Black who ended up doing okay for himself. I might not be quite as young, but with age comes wisdom, and with wisdom comes appreciation. I'm so grateful for everybody here, people that watch me grow up. This is like a yearbook of my life. I can go back to times in my life and equate them with matches I had here. I'm so grateful, and I'm so blessed to be here today. I'm so blessed that all of you
Let oh. Snatches the microphone out of the hands of Jimmy Jacobs. Bro, 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 bro. Jimmy, man, dude, I liked you way better when you were a miserable drug addict. Oh. <laughs> Hear me out, because at least that was honest. All of this, oh my, I'm so blessed, I'm so grateful, all the memories, you guys watched me grow. It's BS, and you know it. I see through it. You taught me. You're a former... Okay, you know what? No, nobody cares about you, Jimmy. Nobody cares about you elsewhere, so you came back here to AAW? for some adulation for one night only. They want to roll out the red carpet for you? No, 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 no. Shut up! For you, this is all for you, huh? Right? They roll out the red carpet for you because you're a former world champion, a former heritage champion, a former tag team champion. You got your banner on the wall. But well, what about Ace Perry? I haven't been here in over a year. Where's my red carpet? Where's my banner on the wall, huh? You were a champion here, but now what are you the champion of, huh? I'll tell you. You hold the title for worst professional wrestling television writer in history. You just made the list! I'm gonna tell you one time. You're not dressed to compete. We're in a professional wrestling ring. On a professional wrestling show. You get out of this ring, or I'm gonna make you get out of this ring. Oh, Ace Perry. Those are fighting words. Laying a heavy, heavy mouth. So what's it gonna be? On Jimmy Jacobs. Look, Ace. I didn't, I didn't come here to fight. I'm not, I'm not dressed in my fancy, colorful tights. But that never stopped me before. Oh, and Jimmy oh. Jacobs with a right hand. And you just got knocked out by a guy wearing mandals. Now he's barefoot. The bell's and been this is official. And it is official. Four years oh. in the making. Jimmy Jacobs back in an AAW ring. Ace Perry gets clothesline over the top. Jacobs almost following him all Jacobs the way out. Jacobs is feeling it. Keep your eyes on the zombie princess, Tope Suicida. Jimmy Jacobs wiping out Ace Perry. Back like he never left. And now Jimmy raining down right hands. To Ace Perry, and now he's biting the man, tearing the flesh. Direct oh. traffic. Ace Perry goes back first into the guardrails. Ghosts of AAW's past coming oh. to haunt Ace Perry. And Ace Perry sends Jimmy Jacobs head first into the ring post. And now Diamond Cut, Ace Perry with a tope suicida of his own. And now speaking on it, with oh! all seriousness, a Sentana Atomico from Ace Perry goes for the cover. Only gets a count of two. Speaking on it with all seriousness, Trevor Outlaw, Ace Perry, you ask him the inspiration for his entire career? It's Jimmy, Jimmy Jacobs. Jacobs. And now choking the life out of him with that shirt. What's the old saying go? Is it when your idols turn into your rivals? And now Ace Perry. Levels the Triple Crown winner. One of only a few in history. Scoop and a slam on Jimmy Jacobs. Not only is this Jimmy Jacobs' first AAW match in four years, this has to be his first wrestling match in what, two and a half? Yeah, at the very least. Go, 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 
Ace Perry raining down shots from the mount. You know what Ace Perry likes to say, it's bowl a night every night. Tying his hair up and getting ready to square up on Jimmy. Hoist him out of the shoulders, might be thinking diamond cutter. Oh! Spikes some cradle shock. But Jimmy out at one. It's gonna take a hell of a lot more than that to keep the zombie princess out. Ace Perry going underneath the ring. Yeah, old school AAW. What's that? Oh! Old school AAW, old school Jimmy Jacobs. And a new school Ace Perry. That railroad spike in his hands. The damage that has been done by the, uh, the careers of so many men by Jimmy Jacobs with that railroad spike. Oh! oh spikes him! Slingshot ace crusher from Jimmy Jacobs. Jimmy Jacobs is fired up right now. And now Jimmy Jacobs sizing him oh. up looking for a spear. Eats a super kick though. And now Ace Perry sends him back into the corner. Goes to whip him into the buckles. Up and over reversal. Spears him out of his boots. Jacob puts him down, hooks the legs. Three. And he's got him. Goodbye, horses, and goodbye, Ace Perry. Welcome back, Jimmy Jacobs. Three minutes, 25 seconds. Your winner, Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Jimmy Jacobs proving he's still got it. Yeah. Hey, cameraman, come here. Cameraman, we got something for you. We need to talk. Come here. You know what you saw today? You saw some greatness come out of Anthony Primetime Coutinho. Greatness. We didn't get the W, and that's okay because we're going to work on this. You know, because the human highlight reel, Isaiah Moore, he's on a level. That's stupid. That's, he's, a, he's on a pretty good level, right? Would you uh, say? I, I think I would, I would definitely lower it. Maybe if you can go lower, can you bend the knees? Yeah. All right, so you're on this level right now. I challenge you to come to this level. Yeah. And now, how? Up here, because this is where Prom Tom Katina stands. How are you going to do that? You're going to accept our challenge April 20th. We're going to run it back here at the Berwyn Eagles Club. We're going to run it back at the same location, but with a different result. We're taking home the W. Yeah, you best believe it. And hey, man, what is HGH, right? Hawaiian Guido Hitman, right? This is the Chicago Primetime Hitman. No, 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 no. No, please, please. Chicago oh, Primetime hey, Hitman. Hey, we'll deal with the name later. HGH. You know what? We're just the it best works. of the best. HGH, it works. It works. Challenge tag team bout. Scheduled for one fall, 20 minute time limit. He spoke about it. He said he, he has rid his life of every single addiction that he's ever had, but he can't get rid of this one. He cannot leave professional wrestling. Davey Vega didn't even pick up the phone to call him when he was on the shelf. Didn't even pick up the phone to call him, to send him a text, to knock on his front door, to check on his best friend when he needed him, when his mental health was declining at a rapid rate. You strike a good point, but think about the perspective of Davey Vega here. Feeling like he's been in the shadow of his partner for most of his career. Matt Fitchett became the AAW Heavyweight Champion before Davey Vega did. That's but not Matt Fitchett's fault. It's not his fault, but... Oh, Xavier Walker when charges in. When you're the greatest tag team in AAW wrestling history, there's always going to be that competitive itch between the, uh, the two tag team partners to see who is better than the other. That's most of the reason why we see tag teams fall out in the first place. Oh, and Hartenbauer with a, <laughs> a welcome back present for the gunslinger. Yeah. I'm not much of a gambling man these days, but if I got to put my money on a team, I still want to go fitch it in the swag champ in five. I'm curious to see, as this match goes on, to see which team has, if any, dissension. First, you know, these are these are four men. These these four men are not used to teaming with one another. Yeah. Hartenbauer, you know, doesn't even like Sean Logan. The only person that he really cares for is Davey Vega. I think he likes Sean Logan. I think he's just kind of like a tough big brother role he plays. 
You don't want to let his head get too big, though. You got to keep him grounded. You know, Xavier Walker and Ren Jones, these were two men that were closer than brothers at one yeah. point. And then Xavier Walker turns his back on him. Again, he didn't want to be in the shadow of his former partner. You know, it's, it's a tale as old as time as to why tag teams split. I'll tell you what, though, that's a, that's a matchup I want to see one on one. Oh! Fitchett able to get the boot up. Yep. Fires with a back elbow, rolls through. Looking to make the tag to Ren Jones. Oh, Fitchett catches him with a side suplex. You know, one thing that Fitchett did do in his time away from the squared circle, he refined his grappling game. He found himself doing jujitsu. He found himself, you know, entering these catch wrestling tournaments. You know, really trying to become a, a true just master of the, of the craft. Yeah, almost two years off and you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even notice it. And now the swag champ himself with a right hand sends Xavier Walker crashing. Whoa, Sean Logan, calm down. He's gonna beat your butt if you keep talking to him like that. Ren Jones with a heavy right. God, just every single time I see Ren Jones, he gets more and more impressive. It's and it's I question it. It's like how can he get more and more impressive oh! each time he shows me? That's right, Swag Champ. He just runs through. You better Hartmauer. hurry up, brother. You got a flight to catch. Runs through Hartenbauer, which is something you do not see very often, if at all, Hartenbauer oh. being taken off his feet. If there's anyone that can do it, though, it is the swag champ. You got to think backstage, watching this contest with bated breath has to be the AAW champion. He knows that Ren Jones and Matt Fitchett have their eyes on that AAW well, championship. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to think, too, they're 0 for 1 right now. Sean Logan kind of got his ass beat earlier. I'm not too proud to say that, but, I mean, one of the fastest defeats in AAW history has got to be. So, of course, you know, you got Hartenbauer out here. You need him to get the win tonight. Davey Vega's got a plan. He's the ultimate playmaker. Oh, and now Big Flexi standing tall. Makes the tag. Frequent tags here between yeah, Hartenbauer and like Xavier it. Walker. Cutting the, the ring off. They're showing a, uh, a veteran mindset. Yeah, some real tag team synchronicity here. Oh, meeting of the minds. Ren Jones gets the boot up, takes Hartenbauer oh. down. Xavier Walker meets him with the boot himself. Ducks that line. Two times now. And a European uppercut puts Xavier Walker down. If it smells like money and looks like money, then it, odds are it's the swag champ. Combination of offense. Front Chancery trying to take him over. Looking to hook the suplex there. None of these two giving up. Oh, Swag with the suplex. Walker down, Ren Jones feeling the effects himself. Hartenbauer and Hartenbauer now coming in from behind. Hardenbauer is known for his brute strength, but I don't think he gets the credit for how smart he is either. Finding the right moments for him to come in and pick the pieces off. I mean, as somebody that's been around Hardenbauer since day one, I've seen him grow as a man, an athlete, a competitor, former AAW Heritage Champion. That title reign is officially is recognized. Officially recognized. And what's going to be officially recognized right now? It's out of the way. Swag eats oh. the bottom buckle. And I don't know if you noticed that, but that bottom padding on that buckle was just is down Slid just down a little spin. bit. Raw steel meeting the have, jaw of Ren Jones. Champ might have to go to the dentist this week. Oh, man. Xavier Walker looking on like, hell yeah. Dudes will see this and just go, hell yeah. It's me. I'm dudes. Now Hartenbauer. Xavier Walker just looking. Oh! As Hartenbauer beats the piss out of Ren Jones. Putting the boot up for assistance there, though. Hartenbauer telling Sean Logan to get Ren Jones back in the ring. Sean Logan's having a hard time with that, though. Oh! Swag champ! 
Swag Champ wasted no time. Trying to defeat the numbers game, throwing Say, everything he's keep got. Keep your hands off the merchandise, big dog. Keep throwing everything that he's got into these strikes, but Hartenbauer, axe handle off the ring apron, and now laying the boots on the Swag Champ himself. I'll tell you, Hartenbauer is one tough bastard. Continuously wearing down the ribs of the Swag Champ. You gotta think that's gonna affect his gas tank pretty badly. Tying Red Jones' arms over the ropes. Ooh! That chop's echoing through the building. Taunting Matt Finchett over there. If I'm Matt Finchett, I'm worried right now. Nothing he can do from across the ring right now. Constant tags. Ren Jones just absolutely taking a beating right now. Both men down. Double clothesline. Ren See, Jones has got to get to Fitcher right now. Fitch as fresh as can be. Xavier Walker, the only athlete showing signs of life. Fitch it chomping at the bit to get this tag, reaching with everything that he has just to touch fingertips with Ren Jones. Got the tag there. Oh, Hartenbauer just got knocked. Went to go whip him into the buckles. Eats Fitch a boot, makes Fitch the tag. Ten. The gunslinger, the leader. Knocks off Hartenbauer. Step up, Enzi to Xavier. Going to the outside. Floats over to the outside. Ooh, Hart and Hart catches him. Oh, gets caught with that moonsault kick. Fitch it's back, baby. A house oh. of fire, but he eats the boot of Xavier Walker. Keep your eyes Whoa. on the gunslinger. The Gunslinger is back! And he's unloading the chamber on, on Xavier Walker. Fitch it off the top, Frog Splash! Fitch it. Catching a flight of his own, too! Ooh. No! Xavier Walker Ooh. kicking out at the last second. That was close. Swag letting everybody know he's got a flight to catch. Oh, Fitcher was looking for that bicycle uh -oh. knee strike. Instead, Xavier Walker has them both by the throat. Going for the double choke slam. Wait a second. Fitcher had sent over the top rope. Ren Jones grabbed in a, in a quarter Nelson. Oh! oh, no! Can't miss except for that one. And now Xavier Walker eats a boot. He's going for that pump handle. Pump handle powerbomb counter. Oh, but I think he raked the eyes. Hey, simple but effective. Sent over the top rope. So like sent over the top. Oh, oh, trying to skin the cat, but eats a boot to the back of the head. Xavier back to the choke. Fitch is fighting back. Fitch it firing from underneath everything that he's got into these strikes. Oh, just absolutely ragdolled to the mat. Fitch it breaks it down. And a moonsault kick connects. Every bit of it. Spear, no! Oh, no! Fitch it able to evade the spear. Hartenbauer knocks out his own partner. That synchronicity is going out the window, it looks like. And now Hartenbauer charging in the gunslinger. Low bridges him over to the outside. Keep your eyes on that Fitch. Oh, I saw you oh so. God! And a flight to swag catch champ. off the top from the Swag Champ. Fitch it and Red Jones pick up the W. Flight to catch, baby. Flight to catch, statement caught, 
Davy Vega, the message is sent. You retain 11 the title minutes, tonight. 17 you got a seconds. Your winners, Gunslinger Matt Fitchett and the Swag Champ, Ren Jones. In the 20 years of AAW, it's all been about titles and personal issues. This man, the fighting man, the Amish fighting man himself, an honorable man, you took the bus here, hours and hours on the bus, riding with the championship and the churn, but obviously you look very focused tonight. Your challenger is a man who said some very insulting things about you. Chuck Smooth at his side, Joe Alonzo, they filmed a video on social media with a child and dressed up like you, like it was Halloween or something. You, you Halloween, you think, you think any Amish family would allow their child to be in a video? You're mistaken, sir. You are highly mistaken, okay? Joe Alonzo, you decided to go into a community, not a village, but I don't know where you got village from, but it ain't a village, it's called a community, okay? I don't know where you got the kid from. I don't know where he came from, where you dressed him up at. Great, whatever, dude. What I'm saying is, Tonight, no matter what, you're not walking out the AAW Heritage Champion. Tonight, I'm still going to be AAW Heritage Champion. Looks like we're going to feel the churn later tonight. Scheduled for one fall, 20 minute time limit. What are your best robes, Rob? Hey, 20 years ago. A young Robert Anthony Egotistico Fantastico walked down that aisle, stood in this ring at the very first show on the very first main event and became the AAW World Heavyweight Champion. And because of that, this place exists. Because of that, all of you exist. I demand you stand on your feet. Give me the respect that I deserve. Get on your feet, Tyler. I do have to say, you gotta, you gotta give the respect where it's, where it's earned. Because of me, your life has meaning. Every single one of these guys on the wall wouldn't it be a success if it wasn't for me. They owe their career to me. Phoenix and Penta are champions because of me. Seth Rollins made a bet in WrestleMania because of me. This is true. Phil Collins, I have no goddamn clue why he's on the board. But he did commentary because of me. So all of you sitting down are showing me the uttermost disrespect. And I have half the mind to come out there and slap the shit out of every single one of you. Yeah, Tyler, get up before he smacks you. Don't worry, Ego, I'm standing. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. And then when I'm done, oh man, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Top rope. Oh, crossbody from the jump. Gary J off the top rope. High crossbody block. Oh, Hurricane Rana sends Gary, er, Gary J sending Robert Anthony to the outside. And what Robert Anthony said in that pre match promo, absolutely true. AAW oh. would not exist without Robert Anthony. It was Robert Anthony kicking somebody in the face that jump-started the revolution, that started this company 20 years ago. But for 20 years, this man has scratched and clawed and fought with everything in his being to get a spot here in AAW. And it's finally happened, and Gary Jay's not gonna give it up. He's not gonna give it up, but he's certainly got a tough mountain to climb in Robert Anthony out there tonight. Just taking a tornado DDT onto the floor. Oh, Ego's now. in a bad way. Oh! oh! That chop to the ring post. That might be Ricocheting. a game changer early on. Ricocheting throughout the ball. Oh, body slam on the floor. Signature Robert Ego Anthony. It's not a Robert Ego Anthony match without a body slam on the floor. Trevor, if these walls could talk. I got a question for you. Where does Robert Anthony's ass end and your mouth begin? 
because you've been kissing his cheeks since he's walked through the damn curtain. Do I have a little bit of tan on my you got You got a little bit of brown on your nose, let yeah. Me, let me wipe it off, hold on. Robert Anthony now, another scoop. Oh. And a slam. You know, one time Robert Anthony was training uh, myself and a few others, and his idea of training us was giving us 10 to 15 body slams in a row. He said it builds character. It builds character, iron sharpens iron. And let's be honest, he gets off on it. Oh yeah. If there's anybody that enjoys beating people up more than Robert Anthony, please introduce me to him so I can tell you that you're a liar. Robert Anthony, a man north of 40 years old and arguably in the best shape of his life. In the best shape of his life, in his robe era. Gets this bigger, is a different Robert Anthony. Gets bigger and bigger every single time I see him, north of 250 pounds as we speak. Yeah. You know, he, he tried to, be, he, he told them that he was 220. I'm like, brother, you're 250 looking huge. Just tell him how big you really are. The camera ad adds 10 pounds with 10 pounds of pure muscle. Oh! Robert Anthony with a suplex puts Gary J down. That's what he does best. It's the little details of Robert Anthony. Yeah. He makes the littlest things mean the most. Absolutely, but this is gonna be no easy feat for Rob. Gary J is one of the toughest bastards in the game, and it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than just a few body slams to keep that man down. Gary J is a man that, you know, he's had his, his battles with Silas Young over the better part of 2023, pretty much the entirety of his run in AAW, he has, he's had that thorn in his side. He's finally gotten rid of that. He's finally, you know, beaten that odds. Now it's time to, to take on a new challenge, yeah. take on a new battle. He took offense to Robert Anthony, beating the ever-living hell out of Chico Suave back at the Windy City Classic. I he, take offense to him taking offense to Chico oh, getting beat up. Stomps on the elbow does Robert Anthony. Guys like Chico Suave deserve to get beat up. And it makes me even happier when guys like Robert Anthony are the ones that are doing it. Now that's small joint manipulation by Robert Anthony. With 20 years of history, you think this is the year we see Robert Anthony finally get his own banner? Oh, he's biting the man, he's tearing the flesh. Ripping at the Gross. fingers. That doesn't taste good, I, don't, I would imagine. Yeah, I think he's regretting that now. Look at the look of disgust on Rob's face. With the arm breaker. Oh. Now Robert Anthony wrenching at the wrist, wrenching at the shoulder. Which is smart because you think Gary needs that for full torque on those chops, Northern. on those strong oh. strikes. If you break down the hands that Gary J uses to chop down wood, you're eliminating a huge, huge part of his offense. It was a Northern Lights suplex, followed it up, holding on to that wrist. It's Robert Anthony. Oh, look at him oh. bend that index finger. Ripping at the fingers. Jesus. And now pulling on the beard. He loves this. This is You are absolutely right, Tyler. These are the types of things that Robert Anthony gets off on. Adding insult to injury. That masochist Robert Anthony. Fans finally giving him some of the respect that he deserves. About time these dumbasses smartened up a bit. Going to pick up Gary for the Team 74 driver. Your eyes on Gary J. Oh. A heat seeking missile wiping out Robert Anthony and a back elbow stuns him. Slingshot Ooh. into a flatliner. Gary needs to capitalize. You're not going to have many opportunities where you're going to put Robert Anthony down like that. Opportunities like that are far, few and far between. Potty mouth fans. We should get a swear jar going and have them fill it up. You know who I think would fill it up first though? Russian chef. <laughs> they are the jar. They are the swear jar, yeah. Oh, Gary J firing with a forearm strike. Oh. You can see with each one he lands though, he's feeling the after effects of it. Look at him clenching his other hand. Ooh. Oh, Ego very boot smart, from Ego. gets the boot up, stops him dead in his tracks, popped up, eats a knee. Oh. Low level DDT, Gary spikes him. Eagle kicks out. Quick count of two, says senior official Dan Perch. Eagle's 
fighting back up. Oh, inside out suplex. Beautiful counter from Robert Anthony. Turns him inside out, tilt to world counter by Robert Anthony. You want to talk one of the better minds in wrestling, taking those moments, finding those little up openings to get back on top. That's what Robert Anthony does best. Because for him, there are no little moments. No. It's always an opportunity to be better than the person you're in the ring with. Yep. Things that Robert Anthony lives for. Front face lock grabbed by Robert Anthony and a shot to the spine three times now. Laying those clubs in. Gary J blocks the suplex. Blocks him with the oh! knee. And oh, his hand has got to be throbbing right now, but I'll tell you, if there's one thing I know, it's Robert Anthony does not like getting chopped. And if there's one thing Gary J will do, oh! He's going to fight through the pain, and he's going to chop till he can chop no more. Good Lord, that one might have sucked the wind out of Ego. Oh, my God. And another paint brush he goes, and he goes paint begging for mercy shot. right now. If I'm Robert Anthony, I just tap out. I say enough of Ego this. Ego don't tap. Oh, had him oh, count. power bomb. Rolls had him back. Had counted, had him scouted. Pop up power bomb. Going for the Team 74 driver again. Double stop from Gary. Was kicking out at two. Yeah, that one might have rocked Ego's bell a little bit. And now Gary needs to capitalize. Yeah. You have the former champion right where you want him. Don't underestimate Gary J. He's one of the top strikers in the game. The stiff Robo Ginger trying to pick up Ego. Oh, oh, but Ego's going for that Team 74 driver! With authority! With some stank! And Whoa, out of nowhere! It. Robert Anthony wins this brutal contest out of nowhere. Nine minutes, six seconds. Your winner, Robert Ego Anthony! The founding father making a statement with that victory. Oh, too damn easy for Uncle T. What was that, 30 seconds? Less? I don't know. All I do know is 2024, baby. It's the year of Solomon Tupu. Uncle T wants some gold to hang up his pants because they're falling down a little bit. And I think I want all the gold this year. You want all <laughs> the gold. You want all the gold. <laughs> Who? Who do you think you are, bro? Who the guy am? You, you've changed, man. I've changed. Out here running around like a jackass with fake money, throwing it all around and everything. Who's gonna take you serious? Take me serious? Yeah. I'm sh I should be the guy that's going after the gold. And the only reason why you're getting opportunities is because you're a big Samoan and that's the in thing right now. That's the in thing right yeah. now? Yeah. Now my talent I've been showing everybody? Yeah. Know yeah. what I did tonight? You know what? You asked me if I wanted to go down that road, maybe I do. So how about April 20th, we take a trip down that road, okay? How about that? What about that? You want this? Huh? What about that? What's what up, bro? Guys, 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 help! Guys, guys, help! 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 Hey, come on, guys! Come on, dog! What's up, bro? The following contest is the Berwyn Street Fight. Two men closer than brothers. Weapons were already legal. Now they're encouraged. Remember, folks. The fight may spill out into the crowd. Please keep clear of the action. <laughs> and hardcore. <laughs> oh! We're starting not Wasted no time. Heather Reckless and Maggie Lee from behind. Shout out Maggie representing the South Side. Well, now I hope she loses. God, this place coming unglued. Yeah. I love a good street fight, Trevor Outlaw. I think me and you should settle things in a street fight one of these days. Just don't wear a White Sox jersey. 
I'll, stain, I'll make you bleed, I'll Cubby stain, Blue. I'll stain it with your blood. Oh! oh. <laughs> Maggie Lee sent into the guardrail. Just the guardrail. Reckless abandon, courtesy of Shaza McKenzie. Speaking of reckless abandon, look out! Heather Reckless with a drop kick to both combatants. <laughs> Cannonball sent on off the ring apron. Maggie Lee taking them both out. It's legal. This it's is happening. Legal. This is a fight. This Kevin Kellum, nobody's going to get in trouble here in the Berwyn Eagles I'll club. tell you what, the one thing I'm most worried about right now in those rings are the baseball bats. Uh-oh. The girls looking to take out the trash here. Oh! Right over the dome. The lip of that trash can driven into the face. Look at that, has got the small bat. <laughs> hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, better, better. Swing, better, better. Swing, better, better. One more, one more, one more. Swing, better, better. Oh! I, for one, am a proponent of violence for the sake of violence. Over the double covers. You just want to see somebody get their ass whooped with a baseball bat. Yeah, you know what, it's fun. Professional wrestling is a lot more fun when weapons are involved. While there are no rules here in AAW, no count outs, no disqualifications, in this contest, violence is encouraged. Yes. Heather stomping a mud hole to Shaza in the corner. Looking for some more furniture. Maggie going under the ring, grabbing a chair. Miss a Kate. These two athletes. Maggie. Oh! oh no. Missa just ate the lip of that chair. Oh, and we are spilled out into the crowd, folks. It's breaking down here in the Berwyn Eagles Club. And in the inside of the inside ring. ring. Heather's got the chair in the corner on Shaza. Things are getting bad. Drop kick! Drop kick to the prone opponent. Missa and Maggie fighting over by the bar. Maggie fighting with anything that she's got to not get driven headfirst into the bar. Oh, oh, and a face full of nachos. A face full of nachos for Chicago's sweetheart. I wouldn't eat that. Oh, they're spilling over here. Oh, my God. Maggie on the stairs. The action's spilling over by us. Missa, if you want to hit Tyler Volz with the chair, I'd be cool with it. Oh, God, that chair. Being put in a dangerous position. Oh, Missa with the DDT on the chair. DDTs her face first into the chair. And in the inside of the ring, Shazza's got a door. Missa's heading back to ringside. Maggie might be out cold. Uh, now the competitive advantage. Missa Kate and Shazza McKenzie, the resident mean girls of AAW. Have Heather Reckless in a bad, bad predicament. Heather's on her own right now. Oh, oh the, the, the lid of that trash can right ricocheting over the off the head. Now just choking the life out of Heather Reckless. <laughs> Shaz are bringing one of the dumpsters back in here. Trying to get some revenge from earlier, possibly. Oh! A brutal shot by Miss Cade. Heather's in trouble right now. Maggie Lee has been taken out of this match. Two-on-one situation is not a place you want to be in right now. 
Heather's fighting back, but Missa knocks her right back down. I think it's Missa and Shaza right now. They're trying to figure out which weapon of destruction is going to be the one that's going to end Heather Reckless. Which one do we want to choose? So many fun choices. I, for one, think a nice wrist lock. <laughs> Oh, suplex onto the garbage can. That garbage can buckling under the weight oh. of that suplex. You got to think on top of the impact of landing on it. Oh, Heather somehow, someway kicked out. The condensing of the garbage can to crush in on top of you. Oh. You get squashed and claustrophobia is not a fun move. Heather Reckless got a chiropractic adjustment that she never asked yeah, for. Yeah, no kidding. Missa and Shaza having a field day out here, all these weapons to choose from. Shaza's going to set up the door, it looks like. Ho oh ho! Missa put a little extra on that clubbering shot. Now onto the shoulders goes Heather Reckless, but from the back! Wait, Maggie Lee's Maggie back in the Lee's match! back into the equation! Rolls through. Oh! O'Connor roll and gets sent head first into that garbage can lid. And just like that, Shaza and Miss are back in control. I think after seeing the expertise with the chair, I think the new resident chairwoman of AEW is Miss Kate. Not until she plays it like a guitar. <laughs> well, those chairs being set up in a dangerous position by the Mean Girls. Oh, and Heather's face first on that chair. This is wiping some of the nacho cheese out of her eyes from earlier. Oh, they're picking Heather up. Are they thinking? Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Double team powerbomb coming up. Oh, Maggie with the shot to the back. Oh, run right oh through the chairs. God. Neck first, Hurricane Rana. Maggie with the door. And a Death Valley driver into the door. Just like that, the equation has been equalized. All four of these athletes showing the wear and tear, showing the damage of this contest. An absolute brawl breaking down here in the Berwyn Eagles Club. Throwing strikes back and forth from both teams. Oh, it looks like Heather and Maggie getting the upper hand. Maggie from the road. Oh, huge boot. Maggie using every And inch another one. Of that six foot frame. What are these ladies thinking? And now Maggie heading up top. Heather go doing the same. Double moonsaults! Double moonsaults puts them down! Maggie and Heather with the colors! Ooh, so close! So close! Both athletes throwing all caution to the wind there, but not able to get the one, two, three. Justified, this is awesome chance from the fans. Look at the wear and tear on that door. That's even more dangerous than it was when they got brought into the equation. Heather's grabbing another door. The lip of that chair being driven into the, the, the small of the back of Shaza McKenzie. As another door gets brought into the equation. 
Maggie was ready to hit Missa with that chair. And then she saw the door. And she said, you know what? I've got a better idea. I got a better idea. They're setting Missa up on the door. Which for Missa Kate, this has bad news written all over it. As Maggie Lee heads up top, Shaza McKenzie from behind. Shaza with the Saido. Oh no! Missa able oh, to get Missa's off that door. Maggie. Power bombs Maggie. through the door. And power bombs or puts her down. Shaza and Missa They're, with the covers. Oh. What? Ooh. Shaza McKenzie's beside herself. She can't believe it. Missa K can't believe it. Hell, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Maggie Lee kicking out that fighting spirit, the heart and determination. Missa throwing her out of the ring. What's Shaza thinking here? Shaza setting up more chairs, grabs Heather Reckless. Shaza. With a heavy shot, follows her up. Fighting up top. Oh, gets troll, God. This has bad, bad intentions written all over it. Heather's fighting for dear life. Oh! oh! Sweet Jeebus! Driven face first into that chair! And Shaza McKenzie gets the dub! Twelve minutes, twelve seconds. The winners of the Berwyn Street Fight, Miss Kate and Shaza McKenzie. You've seen her on international television. Truly her kingdom grows and maybe a new jewel will be in the crown. Queen Amanada with us here at AAW. You're challenging Sierra, the AAW Women's Championship. How do you feel? Well, first of all, I have to say, I am very, very happy and excited to be back. Because last time I was here, I tagged and Sierra was on the other side. But this time, it's a little different, you see, the one, the only queen, is here for that belt. Sierra, I'm coming for that juicy ass of yours, okay? Did you hear that last line? Four-way bout scheduled for one fall, where the first participant to score a pinfall or submission will be the winner and will challenge tonight for the AAW Heavyweight Championship. That has to provide for a wife, to provide for kids, a, a husband, whatever it may be. That financial burden, that financial obligation overtakes it all. Yes, it does. Sometimes you have to put that pride aside and do what's right for the pocketbook. And that's what Beef's had to do since he's had been under the guidance. They say, you know what they say, MOE, money over everything. Oh, Joey with a kick right off the jump. Avalon wasted no time taking out <laughs> Bennett. All's, and fair, Shane all's fair in a fatal four way. Shane Hollister goes low. Avalon, Claymore kick. Joey Avalon with a cover. Going for a quick. Oh. Hollister able to kick out. Ow! Looking for that package pile driver instead, eats a super kick. Bennett lighting him up with some chops. Bennett needs a claymore. claymore. Joey Avalon's been on fire here lately. Yeah, we talked about Isaiah Moore. We talked about Solomon Tupu in that six-man ladder mayhem back at the Windy City Classic. But there may not be a bigger star to come out of that match than Joey Avalon. As beef with the Fez Press. Raining down heavy shots from the mount, Great from behind, beef. behind, from behind. Bennett trying to make some ground beef right now. Mike Bennett cho chopping him, lighting him up. Oh, those Kobashi chops in the corner. Beef 
Carson into the corner. This is the splash. Oh, Bennett with an exploder to beef. Exploding beef. <laughs> Bennett puts him down. <laughs> and telling, telling everybody exactly what he thinks of him. Oh, keep your eyes on the outside as Shane Hollister trips up Bennett and sends him into the guardrails. Clothesline ducked. Hollister hits a clothesline of his own, but nobody budging. Step up, Enzi. Catches enough of it to rattle the big man. Beef throwing the line. Oh, into the suey onto Mike Bennett. Tope Suicida from Shane Hollister wipes out Mike Bennett. And a clothesline sends him up and over to the outside, but Beef follows all the way down himself. Joey's up on his feet in the ring. Oh, knocking some noggins. Avalon heading up top. Joey's up top. To that unfamiliar high road. Holy shit! shit! Oh God! Excuse my language, but whoa! Joey Avalon throwing caution to the absolute wind. Joey for Avalon shot at the AAW title. Joey just did the damn thing. And now Avalon going for the cover on Mike Bennett. Only gets a count of two. Joey's in firm control right now, going for that package pile driver again. Who would have thought of every man in this contest, Joey Avalon would be the one with the upper hand so far. I did, I thought that. I told you that from the jump. You don't listen to me, Tyler. This is, oh. why, this is why we need to seek counseling. A right hand, but Bennett follows with one of his own, and then Avalon retorts. Back and forth. Joey ain't going down easily, that's for sure. Joey ain't going down easily, and Mike Bennett's not gonna be on the losing end of a slugfest. No, sir. That Boston Strong style. Oh, paint brushing boot, but Bennett Spinebuster! counters with a spine buster. Spine on the pine center ring, but Avalon kicking out at two. Driver from Mike Bennett pulling out all the stops, but Shane Hollister, look at the steel one. Bennett's looking on like, what? Like, what the hell are you doing? I think it was another four-letter word. What was it? I'm not going to use it. I, I used my swear pass today already. I said the S word. Shout out Chuck Taylor. He's coming back into it. Double super. Oh, another super kick. Got Shane Hollister. Oh, rolling forearm. Woo! A rolling elbow to a Bozo's jaw puts him down. I'm seeing some rolling eyes in Shane Hollister right now. Three athletes down. Joey Avalon showing signs of life on the outside now in the ring. Crawling for that cover. And it kicks out. Count of two. It's interesting to note, I think Joey Avalon has gone for pins on Mike Bennett more than any other competitor in this contest so far. Yeah. Shug now charges in, gets Bandera to the outside, catches the line, and Zaguri catches him. Shug off the top. Shug step, nobody home! But another Enzi. Shook charges oh, in! Beautiful. Swinging flatliner face first into the center buckle. But only gets a count of two. That was extremely impressive. Shane Hauser showing why he is not just a staple, but one of the staples of AAW. A surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. Eats Saito from Beef. Eats a Saito suplex from Beef. Oh, another one. Stops Bennett. 
Bennett back up to his feet, fighting the suplex with everything in his power. Elbows to Beef's head. Beef's still picking him up. Lariat ducked onto the shoulders, goes Beef. DVD! Death Valley driver! And now Bennett stacks him with the oh. cover. Shane to the kick to the back of the head. Shane's got some stiff knees. Shane brain with the brain buster. Going for a quick cover. Avalon boots him in the face, breaks it up. That package pile driver. Oh, and the last oh, time. Oh, he's got it. The last time Shug got hit with one of those. It was one, the end of a championship two. reign. Oh. But Bennett in. Oh. Throws him to the outside, breaking up the cover and continuing the brawl on the floor of the Berwyn Eagles Club. This is one of the craziest matches we've seen in a while. What a night it's been here so far at AAW Legacy. A lot of names from the past, the present, potentially future of AAW. Flowing oh! Through oh, and Beef got crotched! Shane Hollister, the ever opportunist. Shook stepping his way to a potential AAW title shot. Beef going for the pile driver. Oh no! Beef bomb! Oh! oh! To Joey Avalon and Mike Bennett! To the outside! What? Is Beef gonna. Oh, Beefy Bomb! Beefy Bomb puts him down! Shook Three. cannot Whoa. kick out! Beef! Beef has done it! Beef wins! Beef is the number one contender! In eight minutes, six seconds, your winner, Beef! Beef is getting his shot at destiny! His shot to right all the wrongs! Beef Vega for the AAW title is signed, it is sealed, and it is delivered here tonight at Legacy! Here comes Davey Vega, the when, ultimate playmaker. And when you're the champion, you call the shots. When you want it to happen, you make it happen. You heard Vega Davey say, asking, are you stupid? Vega said, do not get the win. You know what's going to happen if you get the win. Oh boy. Soften him up. That was the, 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 the instructions given the beef. Chance to salvage this. 
lay the fuck in the middle of this ring or something really bad's gonna happen. Are you gonna lay there? I'm gonna give you one more chance. One more chance? At what? Being a pussy? You know what? You can take my shitty car, you can repo my trailer, I don't care what it is. I ain't laying down. You know, matter of fact. Oh! oh! Beep saying, like that. Beep saying that ain't happening. That's not how this is going. I'm the number one contender. I want the title opportunity. Sending the referees out here to break this up. Things are getting messy. We have officials coming from the back. We have wrestlers emptying out of the locker room. Beef just ripped the suspenders off of Hardenbauer. Come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, and now Vega equalizing shot. Yeah! With the microphone in the back of the head. Tell him, Vega. Fuck you, Beef! Fuck you, you ain't shit! Get out of my ring, you schmuck! Where you guys get this crack shot security at? Get him out of my ring! Vega calling the shots. And Beef, Beef saying no, that's not how this is gonna go. Beef still clawing on the outside. He wants that AAW title opportunity. He wants to get his hands around the throat of Davey Vega. It's gonna take an army of referees to keep Beef away. Oh, oh, Beef broke beef, free! Beef broke free! Trying to get into the ring, trying to get his hands around Davey Vega, trying to get that AAW title around his waist. Oh, fuck you, Beef. And the AAW champion standing tall. Because I'm the goddamn man, that's why. Truer words have never been spoken. Well, I guess that was an easy night for old Davey Vega. I don't think you guys deserve to see a title shot tonight. Wait a minute. Whoa. We saw these two men calling the same shot earlier tonight. They both said they want championship gold around their waist here in 2024. Conan like it just beating the hell out of his old friend. Old friend is absolutely correct. There's no love lost between those two individuals no. anymore. Senior what is going on out here? Senior official Dan Perch from the back giving instructions to Jimmy Desmond. Wrestling fans, I have been informed that Davey Vega will defend the heavyweight championship in a three-way elimination dance Whoa. right now. Versus, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Against, against Conan Lycan and Solomon Tupu. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a three-way dance. A three-way dance for the AAW title here at Legacy. This is the opportunity that Conan Lycan has been hunting for. For Conan Lycan, this could mean everything. For Solomon Tupu, 
Think about what this would do to the career trajectory of him if he unprecedentedly came in here tonight to Legacy and became the AAW champion. Davey Vega automatically at a competitive disadvantage here. The I'm no mathematician, but if you want to run the numbers. Despite the Bravo family on the outside. And now Lycan, shoulder thrusts in the corner to Davey Vega. The Land Sharks in it for one person and one person only, and that is himself. And that's how it is. This isn't, this isn't wrestling friendship. This is the wrestling business. You have to take your opportunities when you can find them. Sometimes you have to take steps over your former friends to get what you want. Oh, and now Vega boots him in the, in the guts. Turns the tide, sends him into the corner, and a chop to the chest of Conan Lycan. Solomon Tupu still incapacitated on the outside of the ring. I mean, Davey Vega's at a numbers disadvantage, but as of right now, it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one match. Conan Lycan firing on all cylinders right now. Floats over the back of the AAW champion. Now hits the ropes full steam ahead. Slides Close out. Close line ducked. Oh. Hart, Bauer, and Logan driven head first into one another. And now Bauer goes head first into the ring post. Oh, jeez, there goes Sean Logan. Logan dumped on the unforgiving ring apron. Vega up, oh, and, over with, up and over with the Pescado, but gets, gets caught. Oh. And spiked. Rip first. Conan Lycan, a graduate of Black and Brave. Same with Solomon Tupu, who's surprisingly back in this match. Former friends facing off head to head. Former members of Smooth Operations. Both of these men have come a long way since. And now, shots being traded in the center of the ring between Solomon Tupu and Conan Lycan. Two men closer than brothers. Yeah. Uncle T's really made a name for himself this past year, really reinvented himself. Conan Lycan feeling like he's done the same exact thing, but not getting the credit and opportunities that he's deserved. Conan's been said to have been one to actually help train his fellow friends and cohorts, teaching people of the likes of Camel Myers, even Uncle T, everything that they know. Oh! I don't think he taught Uncle T how to throw that Thez press. You ask Conan, he'll tell you he has. <laughs> Uncle T making it rain! <laughs> Spinebuster! Conan Lycan, the ultimate X Factor, turns the tide with one maneuver. Conan going up top. I'll tell you, I've never seen a heavyweight that looks like Conan, that moves like a cruiserweight. This is oh, the 450. May have jammed his knee up on that oh, one. Oh, shotgun drop kick from Uncle T. Big cannonball. Cannonball into the corner, Uncle T. Has, the land shark. has Conan Lycan begging him off. And Lycan a split second away from elimination. Close but no cigar. Davies back in it, lighting him up with chops. Oh, you can hear those chops echoing throughout the Eagles club. Vega eats a headbutt. Them Samoan boys have hard heads. Now onto the shoulders, goes Vega. Savat kick, puts Conan Lycan down. Goes for the pin, goes for another pin. Smart move of Uncle T. You know what they say, mo money, mo problems. But what happens when outside of mo money, you get a little bit mo gold? It changes your entire life. Tupu with the Uranaki puts down Davey Vega. Oh, it's Sean, Sean Logan. Sean Logan coming to get revenge from that squash earlier. Earning his keep. It's gonna take a lot more than that for him to earn his keep back after the night that he's had. Oh! His clothesline puts him down. Same move that took Sean out earlier. And a Uranagi spikes him. 
Keep your eyes on Conan Lycan. Oh, Conan's got the title. He's got the mother up and oh! in his hands. And he drives it into the cranium. All's fair in love and Tupu. war. And now Tupu goes shoulder first into that ring post. Spikes him, twisting brain buster. The sheer strength of Conan Lycan. Nobody home. Vega able to evade the attack. Catches him with a Gamangiri. Ooh. And a running kick in the corner. Vega now pulls him out center ring. Beautiful pop-up pop -up power bomb. bomb. Counter. Conan puts the champ down. He's going up top. Is he thinking 450? Not if Uncle T has anything to do about it. Uncle T shoves him off the top. Vega with the roll up. Vega with Feet the other Feet on the ropes. Oh. On the ropes. Vega stacks him. Vega eliminates Conan from the equation. Conan Lycan has been eliminated. Do my eyes deceive me? Uncle T, Davey Vega, one on one. The AAW Heavyweight Championship. Oh my God, are we gonna have from behind, two from behind. Oh, so close. A split second away from the upset of the year. Oh, and now Vega targeting the arm, targeting the shoulder. This is a career-making opportunity for Uncle T. Vega writhing in pain. Solomon Tupu still feeling the effects of that assault in the entranceway from the beginning of this contest. Crowd is split. And Davey Vega goes to show, shove Solomon Tupu off the ropes. Tupu with a reversal. Clothesline puts him down. Tupu's back in it. Flapjack puts down the champion. And now Uncle T looking for that clothesline oh. one more time. Running through puts Davey him down. Vega. Davey's, Davey's in down. trouble. New champ on the way. No, Ooh. Vega able to roll that shoulder off the mat. So close. So close. Uncle T's thinking, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take for him to get his hands on the gold tonight? And Vegas thinking, what more do I have to pull out to retain my gold here tonight? Tupu charges in, eats the boot. Vega now hits the ropes, full steam ahead. Clothesline ducks. Oh! Spinning wheel kick puts down the champion, and now Tupu crawls with another cover. No! Oh. Jeez. A desperation roll of the shoulder so close. from the AAW champion saves this championship raid. You want to talk about a 2.99999, that's one if I've ever seen it. And now Solomon, going for that Urinagi, but Hardenbauer on the apron. The damn numbers game of the Bravo family paying dividends. Oh! Hardenbauer just rang the arm of Uncle T. And a super kick by the champion. Oh, and Fujiwara no. Armbar. The damage has been done. Tupu writhing in pain oh. as Vega wrenches the hold. And v Tupu has no choice but to tap out. Not to the fault of his own doing, but a day late, a dollar short. Total match time, eight minutes, 51 seconds. Your winner, and still, AAW Heavyweight Champion, Davey Vega! Vega retains the gold here at Legacy. It's from the back! Davey Vega looking like he's seen a ghost again. Oh, Moonsault kick! Vega wiping out, or Vega heading the higher ground as Fitcher wipes out the rest of the Bravo family. 
Vega running out the front door. But he forgot something very, very important on his way out. He's held that gold once. And if he has his way here, he's going to do it again very, very soon. Of course, a big title match tonight, the AAW Women's Champion. Sierra, real challenge tonight, Queen Amanada. Earlier tonight, she said, and I'm quoting, she was coming for your title and that juicy ass. Well, let me be the first to welcome you back to AAW, Queen Amanada. And let me just say that a lot has changed since you've last been here. So let me reintroduce myself to you. I am Sierra. I am the AAW Women's Champion, and I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick that juicy ass. Thank you. A lot of ass talk tonight. The following contest, scheduled for one fall, 30 minute time limit for the AAW Heritage Championship. Championship churn. And Alonzo says enough of that. Wiping out the Heritage Champion, holding that title in his hands, taunting him. Joe's not playing games. Joe's had enough of this. Joe's been through enough trying to get to the championship, and he's not gonna let anything get in the way of him winning it. Tell him, Joe, you're not a butthole, that's right. You know, sometimes if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck. Shut up, Bulls. Chances are Joe Alonzo's a butthole. That's been a, a saying for years. False. Joe's gonna make you eat your words. The Joe. first Heritage Champion in this company's history, Dan Lawrence. And then the list goes on and on from there. We're talking Danny Daniels, Silas Young, Jimmy Jacobs, twice. Twice. Your favorite wrestler, Crotch. Yeah. Eric Cannon, twice. The Shook Shane Hollister, ACH, Heidi Loveless. The list goes on and on. Pentagon. You got to think Joe Alonzo understands the importance of etching his name in the history books tonight. The Levi Everett, the tough SOB. Smelly one at that, but tough nonetheless. Joe's in trouble right now though. Levi is in firm control of this match. And now, oh, a boot to the gut by Levi Everett. Double underhook looking for that butterfly suplex. Oh, Joe Alonzo had him scouted, catches him with a knee. Stinger splash, nobody home. Levi moves out of the way. Beautiful butterfly suplex. Double underhook sends him overhead. Joe's hurting right now. Alonzo charges in. Levi had him scouted, and now that arm is caught. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Levi. Oh, he's going to make him churn. Looking to churn. Wrenching at the shoulder. Two times now. Oh, oh and he rips it out of the socket. Oh. To quote my friend Kevin Kellum. Churn, churn, baby, Amish Inferno. I hate you both. I hate both of you bald bastards so much. And you now, sh you should be ashamed of Chuck yourselves. Smooth trying to pop that shoulder back in the socket, but Levi Levi's Everett gonna fly. Take it to the skies. An unlikely heritage champion, but a fighting heritage champion.
Levi's hunting down Chuck Smooth right now on the outside. But Joe's back on his feet. Baseball slide! Drop kick right to the face of Levi. Alonzo had it scouted. It's that, that unspoken bond that Alonzo and Chuck Smooth have. Chuck Smooth as maniacal of a mind as they come. Oh! Joe sends Levi into the corner. Levi able to stop Ooh. short! And chin first onto the guardrail goes Joe Alonzo. That million dollar smile wiped off of his face. Hopefully he doesn't have to go to the dentist after that one. Oh, Joe Alonzo had that chop scouted. Oh, Death, Death Valley driver on the Valley apron. Valley driver on the apron. Oh my. God. Levi is convulsing right now. I don't know if they have chiropractors in the Amish land. I don't think but so. But Levi's going to so. need one in a bad, bad way after that one. Goes for the cover. Joe Alonzo, new hair. What? Champ. No. I don't know. I think that might have been a slow count. Joe should have had that one in the bag. Point of the elbow being driven right into the back of the head of Levi Everett. Alonzo laying the bad mouth on the Heritage Champion. Now laying the bad mouth, giving the one bird salute to the Berwyn faithful. Beautiful elbows just to the back of the head. You gotta think though, someone is stupid. Someone who's had probably more concussions than anybody I know in Levi Everett. Documented? Not documented, that's the crazy part. I think he just likes getting hit in the head. I thought you were a doctor. I thought you know these things. Dr. Outlaw reporting for duty. Oh, Levi gets the boot up, but eats a right hand. Look at the intensity on Joe's face as he lays these strikes in. But the thing I love the most about Joe Alonzo is he's always going to take that moment to let the fans know what he thinks. Trying to, trying to lock in a full Let anybody Nelson. that doubts him know what he thinks. Oh! Manhattan drop by Levi Everett. Stuns him. That one's gonna stop you from having kids. Thank God. Oh! Chuck Smooth tripping up Levi Everett. He did no such thing. And Alonzo following with a strike. Goes for the cover. Count of two. What do you mean he did no such I thing? Didn't see it. There's camera remember, footage of it. You remember when yesterday, earlier today, you were like, I didn't see it? Well, guess what? I didn't see it. Watch the monitor. I don't need to. I'm watching the match. It's the problem with all these millennials and Gen Zers. You all gotta watch the screens. You guys should be here live at the Berwyn Eagles Club using your eyes to see this in person. But if you are missing out, we appreciate you watching at home on High Spots. Rear chin lock grabbed by Joe Alonzo. Levi's face is getting red. And that bicep curled around the neck. That is locked in deep, Trevor. Levi firing back up to his feet. Oh! Joe snaps him back down. Ripped down by his head of hair. And a sleeper hold now locked in by the challenger. Joe Alonzo saying, tell him about me. Levi Everett fading fast. Oh, back to that jaw from earlier. Joe might have some loose teeth. Ooh! Joe looking to get the stroke. Sends the way out. Oh! Jaw jacked, throat first on the top rope. Now Joe Alonzo, full steam ahead. Oh. Suicide dive, eats the guardrail. Levi able to move out of the way. Joe's gotta be writhing in pain right now. He 
Yes, heard the impact of that guardrail on Joe Alonzo. Oh, Joe's hurt. Joe's hurt. Joe's hanging out for dear life right now. Levi brings him back into the ring, and he's feeling it. Might be thinking for, oh, a couple Amish hammers puts him down. Joe's back up to his feet, though. Slips oh, from behind. Alonzo slips, slips behind, eats a knee. And now the champion thinking headbutt. If he hits this, it is doom Stop the for Joe Alonzo. Oh, oh! That, ch that churn. Ricocheting off the head, not this way. Joe Alonzo just stole No! Alonzo trying to steal the hair of the three. The fighting spirit of the champion showing through. Levi Everett kicks out at two. Fighting spirit or pure stupidity. Either way, this match continues. And now Chuck Smooth on the outside, rethinking the plan. A paint brushing slap from Joe Alonzo. Joe's heading up top, high rent district. Alonzo doesn't do this often, but when he does. Oh, going for the double stomp, missing. He makes it count, no water in the pool. Huge spine buster from Levi. But Levi with a spine buster, now looking to capitalize. Calling for that headbutt one more time. Oh! Punches in! Could this be it? Headbutt puts him down. The champion now going up top. Not if Chuck Smooth has anything to do with it. Oh, Chuck Smooth clinging onto that foot for dear life, stopping Levi Everett from climbing to his destiny. Inzaguri catches him on the back of the head, and a, a right hand follows in suit. I caught that kiss. Alonzo blowing a kiss, signifying the end of Levi Everett. But Levi battling out he everything he's got. Fight. Oh, head butts him down. Joe Alonzo down center ring. Levi off Flying the top. Head Flying headbutt hits it. Now the cover. Two. Still your heritage champ. No. Chuck Smooth from the floor. Uh oh. No way. Chucky Smooth just got ejected. Chuck Smooth gets involved one too many times, and now he's paying for it. Kicked out of the contest. Oh! Face first Stroke goes Levi Everett. And now Alonzo! Alonzo! We got a new champ! Just did New it. champ! The boyhood dream has come true! Joe Alonzo is your new AEW Heritage Champ! 43 seconds, your winner, and new! AAW Heritage Champion, Joe Alonzo! Well deserved, folks. returns to the Club Saturday, April 20th, and it has been signed. Dave Vega will defend the AAW Heavyweight Championship against Gunslinger Matt Fitchens! Saturday, April 20th, High Spots Wrestling Network. Our main event is scheduled for one fall, 30 minute time limit for the AAW Women's Championship. The main events of Legacy, one ball, 30 minutes high limit for the AAW Women's Championship. Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my left from Guinea, West Africa. She is the African woman wrestler, Queen Aminata. Her opponent. In the corner to my right, 
from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She's the AAW Women's Champion, Sierra. Sierra, the AAW Women's Champion in her main event era. Unprecedented. As the AAW Women's Championship being presented to the challenger, about to be held high by senior official Dan Perch, the main event of Legacy, our 20 year anniversary celebration. Yeah, as I said before, Sierra has not had an easy road to the top, but it's the road that she paved to get to where she is today. Yeah. Defeating Masha Slamovich to become the women's champion. Fighting vigorously over the last couple of years to work her way up to the tight. Com coming short, but now finally, finally on top as the women's champion. And now a sign of respect between these athletes as a collar elbow tie up. Center ring. Full champion and challenger jockeying for position. Waistlock go behind into a side headlock by Queen Aminata. Abandons the headlock. Now wrenches at the arm. Sierra. Spin and under, trying to get control back of the arm. And does just that, now wrenching at the wrist herself. Queen Aminata though, with a roll through. And now breaking down the base. Transitions, looking for a double wrist lock. Brings her down. Oh, and now Ooh, driving the knee into the right shoulder. Right into that shoulder. Good. Abandons that, now grabs a front chancery. Sierra rolls through. Both of these women have a strong technical prowess in their arsenal. Grabs one of her own, but again, the quickness. Oh, and we saw her speak about it in her pre-match promo. Yep. Sierra now, showing a, a, Back to the rest, a, yeah. a, a, a different determination in her game here tonight. Oh, and now Queen Aminata playing some mind games on the AAW Women's Champ. If I'm Sierra, I'm pissed off in the situation. You're walking into her house. Oh, and dishing it right back. <laughs> oh! Queen Aminata from behind. School real cover only gets the two. Shoots her off from the headlock, ducks under. Big shoulder tackle from the champ. And a shoulder tackle puts her down. Sierra going back to the well. Nobody home on that senton. She drives on Queen Aminata. Drive by kick evaded. And we're at a stalemate. Both champion and challenger. Sizing one another. Close. Slow, methodical pace for both Queen Aminata and Sierra yeah. here starting off this contest because they know all it's going to take is one mistake. One mistake, and that can change everything. We've seen that. We've seen that happen several times tonight. A couple of upsets, a couple of surprise victories. You know, we saw new AAW Tag Team Champions crowned earlier we tonight. We just saw a new Heritage Champion crowned just before this. <laughs> Abandons the knuckle lace. Waistlock go behind. Sierra holds on, shrugs off the O'Connor roll, catches the boot. Oh! oh! Says, I'll put it down, meets her with a knee. And a drive-by kick. Sends Queen Aminata into the corner, rethinking her strategy. Sends her into the corner and meets her with a splash. Sierra using that power to her advantage. Oh, Fowler's in with another one. Ooh, hard chops from Sierra. Sierra now brutalizing Queen Aminata in the corner. Smart strategy, staying in control, staying on your opponent. Oh, now kicks the leg out, drops her down. For that running hip attack. Sierra oh, full head of steam. Shotgun knees into the corner. 
and a sliding forearm strike rattles the queen, puts her down. Sierra looking to make quick work and an easy night. No. No, it kicks out. Sierra's in a good position right now. She's got firm control of Queen Amanada. Oh, I oh. spoke too soon. Queen Small, package. Small package. Small package. Ooh, huge forearm from Sierra. Almost more of a palm strike. Queen Amanada though. Snap suplex. The swing of the hips, the snap, the rotation. Just absolute textbook suplex from Queen Amanada. the clothesline. Ducks the clothesline, spins her out. Snapmare puts her down. Oh! And a spinal check Brutal from the champion, the or to the champion. Woo! Knee to the face. Oh, oh and now Sierra driven face first into that second turnbuckle. Queen Aminata thinking for that running hip attack. Sierra leveled her in the corner, and now she's going for payback. Oh, nobody home. Sierra, Sierra gets out of the way. Able to move out of the way. Savat kicks, stuns the challenger. And now onto the shoulders goes Queen. Might be looking backpack stunner. Up and over. Ooh. A stiff shot the from the challenger. Let's see if she can get it this time. Oh. Kicked her so hard, she slid through the second bottom rope. Everything into that assault by Queen Aminata. Someone shouted, yes, Queen. Oh, my God. Good God. That shot just echoed through the whole building. Felt it in my eyeballs. Yeah. Taking her for a walk around, taking the champ around. Oh no. And an overhand chop. Ow. Right in front of some of the rowdy Berwin faithful. Sierra though holding on. Stops her dead in her track right, and with fires the with a chop of her own. Another one. Oh! You know, if you chop someone hard enough, you could stop their heart. Especially with a double overhand. Yeah. Oh! Sierra sent into the guardrails. And in that seat of the ring announcer, Jimmy Desmond. And now Queen Aminata absolutely toying with the women's champion. Sending her back into the ring. As they're hooked Another and again. Snap suplex. Snap suplex, an absolute textbook Quick suplex. Quick with it. From Queen Aminata. Floats into a lackadaisical cover. Not even a one count. But I don't think that her, her intentions there were to pin the champion. No. I think her intentions were to embarrass the champion. To piss the, cha message. to piss the champion off and to get Sierra to make a mistake. But that could be a mistake of her own. Oh! Good Lord. These two are some of the hardest hitters I've seen in a while. I love both of these people a lot, but goddamn Amy can fucking lay it in. Queen just finding oh. a home time and time again. Just, the, I've never seen the champion. I've never seen Sierra rattled like that. Yeah. Knocked her almost right off her feet. And that's somebody that's been in the ring with Masha Slamovich on multiple occasions. Oh, oh God. God. You want to talk about a big fight feel? How's this for your main event? Aminata off the ropes. Oh, leveled by the champ. Zero with Hits the senton. And a senton keeps the challenger down. Beautiful fisherman suplex with the bridge. Fisherman suplex, still the champ. No. 
a split second away from it being perfect. That was close. And now Sierra wiping off those battle wounds, thinking what more am I gonna have to do to put the challenger down? The crowd is torn between both of these competitors. Sierra catches the strike. Gets her with a back elbow. And her hook for a jackknife, but I'm in oh! with a reversal. Air raid crash, and we're looking at a new champ. No! So close. A split second away. 2.9 and three quarters. The era of Sierra almost slipping away in the reign of the queen. Almost beginning. Sierra oh, no. fights her way out the back door. Senior official Dan Perch. He's down. Down and out. Queen Aminata with an overhand chop. Release German suplex. Puts the champion down. Back up to her oh, feet though. Spear. Sierra spears her out of her boots. Both women are down. Oh, from the Wait back. Wait a second, that's Shaza. Shaza McKenzie from the back. We've seen her hatred for Sierra speak volumes. And now, just like that, Shaza, Shaza why? looking the gift, Queen Aminata, the AAW Women's Championship. And Sierra kicks out. Thank God. That would not have sent the fans home happy. Could you imagine if we had something like that happen and a title change hands like that? And now Shaza. Despicable. Calling Sierra back up to her feet. I like this attitude from Shaza though. Wants Wait to a fight second. the what, champion. What oh, the lights are out in Berlin. Who cut the lights out? What's going on? Hey, can we get somebody to fix this? What's happening in here? Shaza McKenzie. Oh! Wait a second! Is that? Sky, that's Sky Blue! Sky Blue! Former women's champ! A former women's champion! Oh! Oh! Levels her best friend! And Shaza with the star! Chaos stars. is ensuing! So Sky Blue raining down shots on Queen Aminata! But why? Sky Blue throwing referee Dan Perch out of the ring! Perch sent out of the ring! Bell has been ring. I think this contest being thrown out. Shaza has the title in hand. Oh. Uh -oh. Sky Blue holding it, saying, I've been here before, and I'm going to be here again. Things, business just picked up in the women's division here. The returning Sky Blue. Sky Blue mocking Shaza saying, I'm sorry, have you ever held this? A sight that I never thought we would see again here in AAW. Sky Blue in the center of an AAW ring. Big win, big night. The 20th anniversary and what a way better to start it than with a win for the human highlight. I've said this for a long time and now everybody is about to find out. This is my show. Y'all never listened. Y'all never learned. And y'all never absorbed our truth. And it didn't matter because the hustle and the muscle are more than what you think. The hustle and the muscle don't have to prove anything anymore. Ain't that right, raw heat? <laughs> Look who's back in town. We came here last minute. We said, if we're coming to the 20th anniversary, Danny, you got to make it big. We want something we've never had before, and that is a shot at the AAW tag titles, and that's what we got. And you had the two biggest, the two tallest trees in the forest, but you must have forgot because I brought a bulldozer and I am the sharpest chainsaw in the woodshed. And now, boom, we knocked it down. 
20th anniversary, we walked in as familiar faces and we walked out Tag Team Champions. Tupu, I'm really, really getting sick of this bullshit. Now you have cost me gold too many times in this company. And you know what? It's about time I put an end to that for good. And you know what? On April 20th, April 20th, let's make it a loser leaves town match. And you can take that silly bullshit somewhere else. Because in AAW, this is where the men play. You're gonna get the fuck out of my car. Do they believe in me now? Do they believe in me now? I said it! I said I'd be the champion, and I backed it up. Tell him, Chuck. You did Tell it, him. Joe, you did it. He proved everyone in AAW that he is a top wrestler. He is now your AAW Heritage Champion. The man that nobody wanted in this company is now the star of the show. Star of the show. Listen, a lot of people don't like me for a lot of the stuff that I gotta say. I run my mouth. People wanted to know, you know, Joe, what would happen if you went out there and you fumbled the bag? What would happen if you weren't a man of your word? What would happen if you went out there and you lost this match to Levi Everett? What would Joe Alonzo have to say then? Well, Chuck, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> uh, Conan, man, it's, it's really funny, you know? What was it? I think it was 2018. You and I got into this business together. It was just you and me, dude. Hitting the roads, making the towns. We fought each other up and down this country, up and down every single state. We went cross borders together. And this is how you repay me? <sighs> All right. You want to fight me? You want to fight me April 20th? All right. You think because I wear fur coats now, you think because I throw around money, you think because I got glasses, because I got A, B, and C on me right now, that I don't take this serious? Go to like, and you can take your, your, your fucking tattoos, you can take your long hair, you can take your big ass, and you can go kick rocks. That's cool. Now what? April 20th. Loser leaves town? Call whatever the hell you want to call it. Because I'm winning. I'll never see you again. Thank God. AAW, we are here in the bowels of the Berwyn Eagles Club with someone who's been separated from the ring. You've been told by ringside officials not to go out to the ring again. You won a fatal four-way beat yes, tonight. Yes, I did. You won a title shot at AAW Heavyweight Champion. Yes, I did. Davey Vega. Now, the problem is you are contracted in some type of servitude to the Bravo family, and you defied that because they told you to lay down tonight, and you weren't having that. No! The only person Pete's gonna lay down under from now on is Miranda. I'll be home in a little while, baby. No man will get Pete to lay down. Ah, have earned everything here in this company. 20 years. I remember a couple years back saying 18 years, this company. Beef is the now. Vega, pull that shit again. I'm gonna pull your teeth right out of your face. Two weeks, that's all I've got left under you. After that, watch your back. I'm in the mood for an awesome soup. And Davey, you're looking fine for the evening. I'm the champion now. I ain't under your grass no more. Get out of my face. Woo. Oh, what do you want? You want to come and talk to the boys? You want to talk? Like my boy says, let's talk. <laughs> April 20th, 420. God damn it. I feel like that's going to be a night that I'm going to be really hot. I'm going to be riding real hot because I'm going to have my vindication. We are going to be vindicated. You came in. You stole what was ours. You understand? You stole it. And I swear to good God almighty, April 20th, your ass is getting smoked. Listen, boys. <laughs> There's no question what you did tonight was some punk ass shit. And without a doubt, on 420, oh, I'm gonna be riding that high when we get our belts back. Ah!
Hey, AW, we are backstage here after Legacy. Excuse me, Joe Alonzo, if I could. If I could, I'm sorry. Yeah, who let him in? No, no, no. You've been taking photos for about 10 minutes, and we just want to be able to get a word with you. I'll here. take 20 minutes. What's up? What do you need? You're wasting time. Now it's going to be 25 you are the, minutes. What's you up? are the AAW I am the A. Joe Alonzo is the AAW Heritage Champion. But we have a lot of fans leaving Berwyn Eagles Club questioning how you did that. You used Levi Everett's own butter churn to do yeah. that. Yeah, I did. I, I used the... Oh my God, whoop de doo Joe Alonzo is such a bad guy. He used the butter churn. Who brought the butter churn out there? He had everyone stroking his butter churn. He brought it out there. That's his fault. Levi should be upset with himself and the fans should be disappointed in Levi, not Joe Alonzo. Any more questions? Are you really gonna say that, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. are you really gonna say that, man? Yes, I'm gonna say that, man. I'm gonna say that, man. And I'm gonna celebrate, because I got Chuck Smooth ordering tables, ordering bottles, so I'm gonna need you to get up on out of here and don't interrupt my photo shoot again. Go interview one of the guys on the live. Go talk to those young, hungry kids, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champion yeah. business here. Great, great. Bye-bye. AAW, hey, Ring of Fire, April 20th, highspots.tv. What is going on? A wild ending to AAW Legacy with Sky Blue. We didn't know you were going to be here. What the heck just happened? Sierra is still the AAW Women's Champion. Quiana Manata is in the mix. I'm mumbling over myself. Shaza McKenzie, you were getting into it with her, and we didn't even know you were going to be here tonight, Sky. Sky, you could have told me you were coming. Firstly, no. And secondly, did you guys really think it could be the 20th anniversary show without a former champ? I'm not done. I didn't lose that title clean. So, Sierra, I'm coming for you. Now get out of here. April 20th, streaming worldwide on HighSpots.tv, AAW presents Ring of Fire, two former tag team partners clash for the AAW heavyweight title. Davey Vega of the Bravo family, you take on your former friend, your former tag team partner, Matt Fitchett, obviously overall a tough night for you on AAW's 20th anniversary here at Legacy. So this is how it's gonna be, huh, Fitchett? Everything we've been through. Everything we've lost together. Every little piece that we've lost together inside of many rings all over the world. And this is what you wanna do. It's supposed to be you and me. You and me, not you against me! I guess I eat, you eat. Those are just words to you, huh? Well, guess what? I'm eating, and I'm eating real fucking well. I suggest we don't go down this road together. Hey, it doesn't end well for either of us. Hey, what the hey, fuck hey, do you want, Sean? I just got a question real quick. Um, why does beef have beef with us? What? I'm... Just what the fuck are you laughing about? What the fuck are you laughing about? Huh? It was funny. It was funny. That's fucking funny. It's not fucking funny. Hey, 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 hey,